What is Canada? Answering this question is harder than you think, but stories about who we are as a nation are told to us and by us all the time. Since the nation's inception, Canadian musicians have been crafting songs and stories about what it means to be Canadian. Let's look back to some of the most popular Canadian hits about Canada. If we look at the lyrics of these songs, they tell very positive stories. They are celebrating Canadians in hockey, and they are eager to go back to a laid-back regional lifestyle. But is this a realistic portrayal of Canadian national identity? Considering the discoveries of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, the inquiry into murdered and missing Indigenous women, the devastating environmental changes to Canadian ecosystems, and many more issues, these celebratory songs are not the full picture of what it means to be Canadian. My name is Michelle McQueen, and for my master's research in music and culture, I argue that the iconic Canadian rock band The Tragically Hip creates songs and stories of Canadianness that bring awareness to critical issues. The hip have been a staple in Canadian pop culture for well over three decades, and through a combination of cross-country touring, well over 300 lyrical references to Canadian people, places, and symbols, high levels of success in Canada, and kind of a lack of success elsewhere in the world. And perhaps most importantly, a dedicated fan base that have dubbed them Canada's band. The Tragically Hip have solidified a position as icons in the Canadian music scene. In my research, I examine how the Tragically Hip's music and lyrics tell stories that bring awareness to critical issues in Canada. While the band have many songs that reference Canada, one of their most well-known examples is Wheat Kings. This song is about David Milgard, who was wrongfully charged for rape and murder in Saskatoon in 1969. He was imprisoned for over 20 years for a crime he didn't commit. The lyrical narrative of Wheat Kings follows this very somber event in the Canadian criminal justice system. Maybe it's someone standing in a killer's place. 20 years for nothing, well that nothing new beside. No one's interested in something you didn't do. Musically, the band creates a subtle groove with influences from folk, country, and rock, and it remains in the background giving the lyrical story space to be front and center. In this example, as well as in many of their songs, the Tragically Hip are telling stories about Canada that are darker, more nuanced. They're providing a more critically aware and socially conscious construction of what Canada is. This kind of research provides insight into the stories we tell about our nation, and specifically looks into how iconic popular musicians like the Tragically Hip can shape, influence, and change the perspective of what we think of Canada to one that not only celebrates the nation, but also discusses critical issues that need to be recognized and addressed.